For the 100th anniversary celebration, Oak Hill Country Club rolled out the red carpet. A chance to look back at the past while enjoying the friendships of the present. Oak Hill, a fabric of North Central Mass for over a hundred years. Lots of food and festivities under the tent on the hollowed grounds, a celebration 100 years in the making. Thank you for joining us for the Oak Hill Country Club Centennial Celebration. Thanks to many who have worked and volunteered, like the former presidents who tirelessly worked to make Oak Hill even a better place for current and future members. I want to thank you all for coming. Yes, standing ovation for Oak Hill, 100 years. 100 years, standing up. We don't get to 100 years by accident. To anyone who has ever volunteered in any way, big or small, Oak Hill owes you a debt of gratitude. And on this night, Moore would join the original Oak Hill Country Club Hall of Fame class enshrined back in 2014. It's important to remember the mission statement of the Oak Hill Country Club Hall of Fame is to honor the history of our club and the legacy of those who have made it great. Those who have gone above and beyond what is expected of a member in a private club whom are founders, great ambassadors, forged the direction of our club, dedicated a lifetime of service, and those who have truly left Oak Hill a better place than they found it. Including the first enshrinee, Jim Shea, who rose from the ranks of caddy to the president of the club, winning the club championship multiple times. And Mr. Shea, an ambassador for golf and Oak Hill throughout the region. And I remember Jim O'Leary saying at his funeral, that Jim died at 79 because he so disliked being in the 80s. Kevin and uh, Kerry Colgin, they are the, Kevin is the, uh, the nephew of Jim Shea. They're here with us tonight. I'd like Kevin to come up and. The next inductee, the legendary Arthur Peterson. Arthur's club championship run began in his first year as a member the first of four consecutive titles, and 17 in a 25-year period. Arthur's reputation as one of the finest amateur golfers in the state continued to grow, culminating in a runner-up finish in the 1937 Massachusetts Amateur Championship at Winchester. Arthur's nephew, uh, Dick Macklem, is here tonight with his wife, Gail. Dick, please come up. Arthur's game, in part, was if he didn't think he could make the putt, he would stop the other guy from making his putt. And you, you did not mark the ball. And when the U.S. Golf and when Mass Golf said, no more stymie, it's the only time I've ever seen him angry. <laughs> I don't think the man wrote five letters in his life until that point. But that got him going, and I have copies of some of the letters, and, and they are precious. Thank you very much. We have one more very special honoree. The third member of the class of 2021, Joanne Catlin. With her first at the age of 23 in 1980, Joanne won 22 Women's Club Championships and six more Senior Women's Club Championships at Oak Hill, for a total of 28. Her outstanding level of competitiveness has led to 47 individual titles and 22 more team titles for a total of 69 tournament wins and an Oak Hill Hall of Fame induction. From meeting Mike to Friday night mixed scotches to member guest dinner dances, glow ball, late night dips in the pool, followed by a letter of suspension. <laughs> Oak Hill has been the setting for so much of my life and has enriched it in so many ways. I am extremely honored to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Thank you. By the way, I forgot to mention, when we were having the plaques produced, while they were being done, Joanne went out and won another uh, senior something, senior champion. 
So her plaque is already out of date. <laughs> Quite frankly, it's getting annoying. <laughs> In a moment, um, I want to invite Tom Bagley, the chairman of our Centennial Committee, up here to say a few words. But before I do, I'd like to say a few words about Tom Bagley. One could argue that in the 100-year history of Oak Hill, no individual has contributed more to its success than Tom Bagley. For over four decades, Tom has distinguished himself as a champion golfer, club ambassador, and extraordinary supporter of Oak Hill and the Massachusetts golf community. Tom was unaware that we were gonna do this tonight, but on behalf of the board of directors, the Hall of Fame committee, and the entire club, I am pleased to announce that the fourth inductee in our centennial year to the Oak Hill Hall of Fame is, of course, Thomas F. Bagley III. This is quite a surprise tonight for me. You know, really, quite a surprise. But, uh... The fact that the founders of the club had the foresight to pull their, resource, pull their resources and really build this and leave this as a legacy. So, you know, in my view, for us as members, what we have to do more than anything else is make sure that we protect that legacy. You know, it's our job, you know, all of us as members come and go over a period of time. It's our job as members to make sure this legacy continues. And, you know, board members have to understand that as they go on the board. You know, everyone says we're here to serve the members. But in my view, we're here to serve today's members and tomorrow's members. And that's all of our responsibility. So my surprise for tonight is that a group of members have stepped forward and pledged $250,000 towards a centennial fund to help support improvements to the golf course. So let's hope that we can keep this place alive for another 100 years. Thank you.